This video is meant to show you how to use StatCrunch, Excel with Data Analysis, and Excel with PHStat to complete a randomized block analysis of variance calculation. Let's open up our data and let's start with StatCrunch. This is the data we were given in the format we were given, but StatCrunch wants us to rearrange it and will even help us rearrange it. So we go to Data, Arrange, Stack, because we need all our numbers in one column. So we will highlight the types of rope, and then store the labels in ropes, and then call the value Strength, and click Compute. This will put all of our numbers into one column and their associated sources. We also need to pick the days and add those into our column. So I'm going to highlight day 1 through 10, hit Control C and Control V to copy and paste. And I'm going to rename the column. Come over to Stat, ANOVA, Two Way. Our numbers are in strength, our rows are in ropes, our columns is in day number. And because this is n without replication, we need the fit additive model. Click Compute. We have now our ANOVA table here, but this is not the traditional format. Notice it goes in increasing degrees of freedom. You need to be aware of this when interpreting the data analysis and pH tables as compared to StatCrunch. Going back to our data, we will open in Excel. And we will run our data analysis, which is ANOVA two-factor without replication. Click OK. Highlight the entire data table. Click on Labels. Alpha is correct. I prefer my output in the same area as my data. So I'll click that and click OK. I like to clean up the column widths. So the results look like this. This top row is to show us whether blocking was effective or not. More information on that is available in lecture or from the textbook. Before we can run this in pH stat, this cell right here needs a label or pH stat will complain. So we will come to pH stat, multiple sample tests, randomize block design. Let's try that again. Yay! Highlight the cells of data. Put in a title if you want. And here's our ANOVA table, much like Excel gave us. Those are the three techniques for creating this information.